Terminus Horizon is a machine gun from the Spire of the Watcher dungeon, plus one of the text mechanic weapons originally introduced in Season of the Seraph. This one is an absolutely devastating machine gun, and also has the chance to roll with some great perks like Target Lock and Vault Shot, so it's highly likely you're going to find a great roll for your build. Well, today I'm going to check out the stats, the perks, the girls to chase for PvP and PvE, plus also have a look at how to get the Terminus Horizon in Destiny 2. Well, if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. And roughly 95% of viewers who watch this week in video games aren't subscribed. So subscribe today and never miss an update. Well, let's dive right into that important information for how to get the Terminus Horizon in Destiny 2. Well, to get this machine gun, you want to run the Spire of the Watcher dungeon, and if we've found on Savathun's throne world near the Enclave. The Terminus Horizon can drop from the second encounter, where you're battling on top of the Spire against the huge Harpy with multiple eyes. Plus also, this one can drop from the final boss. Once you get the drop of the Terminus Horizon, then it can drop from one of the two secret chests in the Spire of the Watcher dungeon. So make sure you get in your loot pool, then open that secret chest. Hopefully, you will get a brand new roll. Okay, next up, let's have a closer look at the Terminus Horizon machine gun. It is a legendary power machine gun with a high impact frame, meaning it's slow firing and high damage, and the weapon is more accurate when stationary. You're moving slowly, and you're aiming down the sight. Looking at the stats, we've got 70 for impact, 64 for range, 25 for stability, 38 for handling, 24 for reload speed. It's got 17 for airborne effectiveness. It's a 360 rounds per minute machine gun with 46 in the magazine. Well, Terminus Horizon is a decent machine gun. It's got some great perks available. Unfortunately, it doesn't have auto-loading holster, which is a big shame for a machine gun. It does have the possibility of triple tap or rapid hit, which can make a big difference. Also, it's got the brand new perk in Season of the Seraph called Target Lock. This one has been making headlines this season. It increases damage the longer you focus on the target, building up stacks as you go until you get a 40% damage increase. And that absolutely melts bosses. Well, talking about perks, let's have a look at the God Roll Guide for the Terminus Horizon Machine Gun. So for PvE, Arrowhead Break, Extended Mag, Triple Tap, and Target Lock would be good, and Volt Shot is also available. So with Arrowhead Break, greatly controls the recoil and increases the handling speed. Extended Mag greatly increases the magazine size and greatly decreases the reload speed and increases airborne effectiveness. Then you've got Triple Tap, so rapidly landing precision hits will return one round to the magazine. Finally, we've got Target Lock. So damage increases the longer the weapon remains on a target. For PvP, Arrowhead Break, Ricochet Rounds, Dragonfly, and High Impact Reserves is a decent roll. So with Arrowhead Break, already been through that one. Then we've got Ricochet Rounds, so increased stability, slightly increases range. Then we've got Dragonfly, so precision kills create elemental damage explosions. Then High Impact Reserves, so rounds at the end of the magazine deal more damage. As I mentioned before, this one is absolutely devastating, plus it's one of those Tex Mechanica weapons. So I think the design is really, really good. But let me know down in the comments what you think about the Terminus Horizon. Just let me know your favourite roles. Well, that is it for this guide for how to get the Terminus Horizon in Destiny 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching or listening. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. Or you can check me out on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, if you had it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Well, thanks again, and I'll see you soon.